Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs year-end series. Today we're going to be doing the black metal demo of 2021. And that goes to New Jersey Black Metal Warriors in Apex Winter Demo 2021 on NVNM Productions. Respect New Jersey or prepare for eternal combat. DIY as fuck and absolutely amazing. When you have members of Siege Column, Death Fortress, Blasphematory, Altar of Gore, I mean, yeah, you're getting into some killer fucking material. The logo by Joe Aversnio. If you watch this channel, you know who Joe is. If you don't, you need to dive into the underground East Coast scene a little bit more. But imagine if early Immortal was listening to a lot more Arch Goat. And yeah. Again, we are hearing black metal from the same, not the entire personnel from Death Fortress, but they do share members. So you will hear similarities to Death Fortress in Apex Winter. And it's fucking great, honestly. I really can't get enough of this demo. It's only like 12 minutes too. Each song's like under four minutes and it just gets the fucking point across and it rules. There's nothing in here that's remotely filler. 100% killer. Leading the Pantheon, When the Moon Has Gone, and Apex Winter, the outro. And you have the inverter of protection on guitar, bass, and vocals and Deceiver of Reality on drums and acoustic guitars. And this was recorded between December 2020 and January 2021, deep in the frigid bowels of the dungeon with no end in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Outro recorded at the El Eltelian Observatory, Hopeswell, New Jersey. That's kind of cool, though. All engineering, mixing, and mastering by TG. Fuck yeah. And logo by Joe Aversnio. Contact nvnmproductions.com. I meant nvnmprod at gmail.com. Or go to their storefront page or whatever. Store V, because I'm pretty sure they still have this in stock for some unknown reason. Because this is one of like, serious, it's so fucking good. If you like black metal that's icy, but still has like that US feel to it a little bit, it's kind of weird. Because, like I said, I, I didn't name one American band right there, Immortal and arch goat but at the same time there's very heavy death fortress features but i don't know if death fortress is even a band this could be the new death fortress i didn't ask any of the personnel involved here i just enjoyed it and there were two nvnm black metal releases this year that could have easily made my black metal demo of the year list because I was just going to give this the straight up demo of the year, but there's a whole entire big, big little thing I like wrote in advance just because this year 
for obvious reasons, has been a little bit different than most years. Especially when it comes to release schedules, what releases I actually picked up that are new, and then what is just, you know, not going to be here by the end of the year. Like, there's certain releases, it's not going to happen. Like, I I'm sorry. I mean, it might, but a lot of these releases with December release dates, I hope you get your physical copies, but I really doubt it. I'm just being a realist here, because I'm pretty sure the Worm LP, you're going to get your copies at least late January, February, maybe even March. But hey, you know, it is what it is. But I feel bad for some of you folks that don't read the pre-order rules. When it comes to any record label, if you pre-order more than one item, none of it ships together. I meant none of it ships separately. It all ships together. So let's say you pre-ordered, just for the sake of it, uh, the New Worm LP, but you also got like, uh, I'm just, Witch Vomit's Abhorrent Rapture on cassette. You're gonna have to wait regardless until the worm LP comes in to get that cassette. They will not send it sh separately unless you ordered it separately. And that goes for 99, probably 100% of record labels. So whenever I see people get mad about that stuff, it's like, yo, just read. It's right there. Like, all you gotta do is read it. It says, like, you know, pre-order items and anything accompanied to this pre-order item is not getting shipped out until it's 100% ready to fucking go. So just keep that in mind. But when it comes to Apex Winter, like I said, it's just exactly like what the doctor ordered when it came to just a black metal attack. It's not over the top. I love the drumming. Like, just listen to the drum sound. Great logo. Volume 5 actually has an extra Apex Winter song. Cold Southern. So yes they do. There's an extra Apex Winter song on here. Here's the here's the acoustic they recorded at the observatory. But this is a great, great fucking compilation. You get Blasphematory, The Gauntlet, Altar of Gore, uh, Burial Stone, and Apex Winter. Really fucking good. Taste our New Jersey steel. Excellent. 
NVNM is one of, you know, my favorite DIY deals, like, 100% fucking support, I, I have most of their releases, I'm missing a few. But again, they said goodbye to Massive Retaliation this year. If you listen to Goat Worm, yeah, that's where um, we kind of got influence from the logo since we knew Massive Retaliation called it a day. And this is the final march. It's a compilation of all their non-album material. And again, like, this has just been such an amazing year for reissues. Even, like, in the fucking bottom depths of the underground, 2014 to 2020. So technically, you know, I mean, that's when all these songs were recorded, but Massive Retaliation existed from 2014 to 2021. <laughs> Excuse me. Heartburn. But, uh, Massive Retaliation was Joe Versnio and Tom Warrior. Not the Tom Warrior, the Tom Warrior from Death Fortress, Siege Column, etc. And uh, that's the final march by Massive Retaliation right here. This is the black metal demo of the year. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, what? And I was honestly going to pick this. And this is another NVNM release. And this is a Idol Actress. Warning, prolonged exposure to certain frequencies used in this recording may lead to permanent hearing damage. Yeah. And this is super DIY. I, I love it. But it's so good. Like, it's seriously so fucking good. Like, both of these demos, they're very different. Like, there, there's a Dark Throne cover, which is great. Because it's something you don't really hear, like, uh, it's, um, a cover of Summer of the Diabolical Holocaust, which was off, uh, 1993's Under a Funeral Moon, so it's really cool hearing stuff like that. Because, um, fuck, Hyperdontia covered, uh, Cromlech, the, um, Dark Throne song, I thought it was, like, fan-fucking-tastic, they did such a good job with it. Because again, you know, most people, if they're going to cover Dark Throne, they're going after Transylvanian hunger shit. There's nothing wrong with that, but like, it's awesome to hear, you know, people going after the more obscure tracks. And I don't even mean obscure, I mean just, you know, tracks that not everybody would go for. But this is one of those releases, like I said, it's over before you know it like we listened to the entire thing but it just fucking rules like it's continuously enjoyable and remember this is my black metal choice this is not just the demo of the year or death metal demo of the year like no this is something i wanted to do a separate video on it because i feel it deserves a separate video because i really you know I was going to do a whole entire list of black metal demos, but I was kind of thinking, I was like, you know what? This is the one I just really kept coming back to, was Apex Winter and Demo 2021. Like, I just kept, you know, like really coming back to it over and over again. And it still has not gotten old or anything like that. It's fucking great sounds as fresh as it did when I first got it. And that's great. It really is. And, you know, a lot of releases came out this year. Like, I'm looking around a little bit and I'm remembering, like, wait, was this 2020 or 2021? And it is kind of confusing because the years kind of blended together. And especially me having a massive head injury. Yeah. I have a whole entire just blank, like, I, I don't remember anything from, like, Thanksgiving till my accident, honestly. Like, it's just all a blur. 
Like, I remember Thanksgiving, but that's where my memory really, like, I'm not even joking, that's where, I have little bits of pieces of, like, see, but that's 2020, see, fuck me. Like, I remember, you know, going to see, uh, like, Triumvir, Foul, Blood Incantation, that was in February, but, see, like, my dates are very confused, it's a bummer. And I know this isn't black metal, but when you're doing your year-end list, folks, don't don't forget about Gravesend. I know this was an early one, but um, I do think last year I need to rewatch my year-end video. Yeah, this was mass. This came out in 2020 because there was a three tape uh, set it came with. With, um, Sadisticum, and, uh, fuck, was it Begotten? I, I forget who the, what it came with, but I know it was, like, Gravesend. It might have been Fire Magic. Fuck, I'm sorry, I I'm drawing a blank. But there's so many releases, you know, like, I know this wasn't the gnarliest year due to delays and everything, but just don't forget certain shit came out. Like, I know there was a new Ghastly record, and we didn't get a chance to go over it. Although, we have been fans for a long time. But, I haven't even heard it. But, this is a demo video, so it's all gravy. But, when it comes to black metal, I really just feel, when it comes to demos, this had everything I wanted you know, and I didn't really hear that many black metal demos in 2021. But when I get to my split of the year, you'll obviously see something that you might recognize. Because I know some of you are probably like, what the fuck is this? Like, I've never heard this. And if you haven't heard this, I understand, and that's one of the reasons I picked it for my Black Metal Demo of the Year, because I know probably a lot of you have not heard this. So, the links will be in the video description, Patreon's in the video description, every dollar helps, pretty much goes to no longer buying new music for the channel though it, i have so many gnarly medical bills it, at the end of the month i am left with next to nothing and i you might notice like you know certain releases that i get like when i do have some spare money i legit shouldn't be buying those like and uh, it's a bummer, but it's out of my hands. Like, right now, when I fell on my face, I, I, I fucked the tooth up. And I can finally get the dental work done. But guess what? I don't have dental insurance anymore. I don't know what to do. I can't, I had to cancel my appointment because I don't even want to get into it. But I'll put it this way. Somebody did something super shitty to a friend of mine, and I'll put it this way, it affected me paying my medical shit. And especially this week, I had a dentist appointment tomorrow to get this shit fixed. Thanks, brah. Way to support the underground, you know? You're a sick guy. I never would do what this kid did. Like, seriously, it was just such a... It was a low blow. Like, legit, it's a low blow. And that's all I'm gonna say. Like, I was a fan of yours, but I didn't know you were a dick. Dude. Yeah, you fucked up. What you did was not cool. If you're watching this, I'm just saying. And I don't even know your fucking name. Because I didn't... I had nothing to do with that shit. And if you folks are like, what are you talking about? 
I'll just put it this way. This person bought something for my guitar player. And this is the funny part. Now, when we ship a curse womb stuff out, as soon as it goes to the post office, it's out of our hands. Wait, we have nothing to do with that after it gets to the post office. So this kid's like, hey, uh, I never got my accursed womb shirt and tape. And like, I know for a hundred percent we shipped all that shit and whatnot. Like, I, I, I was there. I, I, I packed, you know, I fucking, I packed that shit alongside my guitar player. So I know we shipped everything. I know we dropped it off at the post office. So, like, why would you, uh, it, it's just so lame, man. Something that's completely out of our hands. You're going to make a claim against a band, like, you know, we're on Century Media Records or some shit. Like, yo, first off, I, under, I understand, like, how, like, I'd be pissed off too if I ordered a t-shirt and a tape and it got lost in the mail. And then I order something else and it never makes it to my address. That means there's something wrong with your address. In my opinion, because like, I've been trying to figure this out. I'm like, all right, how did this not get there? Because according to the USPS, it arrived. But this kid's saying it didn't, and we don't have spare copies of our demo compilation. We don't have spare t-shirts. That shit sold the fuck out. Now, we are having an international CD press. 500 copies, that is a lot. We're, on, we're getting 80, so that's gnarly. But that's, I don't know when that's gonna happen, just because with all these plants being backed up and whatnot... But that is happening, and it will have promo, new shit also on it. So keep that in mind. I'll let you folks know more about it. But seriously, if you have any problem with anything you've ordered from Goat Worm, a cursed womb, just email us. Don't just go straight for a PayPal claim because you really fuck shit up. And I understand. Like, I do. I really fucking do. But if something, you know, this is why we don't like doing international shipping because of people like this. Because this is out of our hands. It's an international order. According to the USPS, it was delivered. The thing he said he didn't get was delivered. The other item is legit, like, stuck at the post office. It, you know, it has nothing, they didn't do a return to sender. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. But, um, yeah, uh, I thought it was just super rude and not cool. You don't do that. All you had to really do was just, especially if you're a fan, dude, just, hey, what's the deal with this? Like, what's going on? And, uh, hey, here's what's up. Like, I know we were waiting for these stamps, and it held some shit up for a little bit. That's all here. So, like, you know, goat worm CDs are shipping. That's, like, legit the definitive... Way to listen to the goat worm baptismal baptismal excrement demo also is on fucking CD because uh, the cassette version it's good but like that CD mix it's just it has this like really extra it has a big extra punch to it. And I don't know, like, when my guitar player played it for me, I was like, whoa, like, CD sounds 
awesome. Like, I was really surprised, honestly. But um, I do know the digital files aren't as gnarly. And there's a reason for that, because we want you to buy the physical version. Because it's meant to be a physical release. We weren't even going to put anything digitally on Bandcamp. It was going to be, hey, if you didn't get the tape, that sucks. But I hate that shit sometimes. So I was like, hey, let's not do that. Let's do this. And we made the second press a CD. And yeah, turned out really good. That's for Goat Worm, but uh, when it comes to black metal in 2021, like, I know there's a lot of gnarly shit that came out, but for me, New Jersey's Apex Winter just had what I wanted, and like I said, it was just in, out, and squeezing invisible grapefruit. It's just a killer fucking release. I was just waiting for like a blizzard to start in my bedroom, but that did not happen. Anyways, Apex Winter on NVNM. Congratulations, Black Metal Demo of the Year. And thank you, NVNM, for sending this my way and introducing me to Apex Winter. So I'm really looking forward to more material in the future, but for now, Fuck yeah, if you like your black metal along the lines of Immortal, yeah, you're gonna fucking love this. It's just killer. Like, seriously, again, if you're a fan of Death Fortress, this is like the next best thing because it's extremely similar sounding and it's just killer. And if you don't know who Death Fortress are, also check it out but as always thanks for watching you fucking rule hails yeah.